In this video, I will show you how to write the equation of a linear function with an application problem. And it says here an art teacher has $360 for supplies and plans to spend $18 per week. Now the first question here says for us to write a linear function um, in slope intercept form that will model the situation above. And so if we look at what we're given here, that the teacher has started with $360 for supplies, and then it gives you a rate, spending per week. Now when you see that word per, that's an indication that this is your slope, and then it means this would be your starting point B. We start with $360. So our function in y equals mx plus b form would be y equals starting with $360 and spending $18 per week. If we're spending money, we want negative 18 per week, plus we started with $360 in our account. You may have written it like this, which would also be correct. So you start with 360 and then you go down by $18, but either way, these are both the same equation. Now the real world meaning for our slope for our spending $18, I'm just gonna write out what that means. It means the art teacher uh, will spend, so it's a rate, $18 per week. And then our B, which is our starting point, 360, and this was in dollars, means that the art teacher starts with $360 to spend. Now it says how much money will be left after five weeks? And so what we wanna do is plug into our function the number five. So y equals negative 18 times five weeks plus the 30, I'm sorry, $360. So I'm gonna type this in my calculator like this, negative 18 and then in parentheses five plus $360 means that after five weeks, there's $270 left. Then how much money will be remaining after 12 weeks? Again, I'm just gonna put into my function the number of weeks that we're spending money because we said spending money per week. So if I just go back and instead plug in the number 12 and oops not zero I wanted one and a two so 12 I would have $144 left to spend then the last question says after how many weeks how many weeks will it take for the art teacher to spend all of the money meaning I'm looking for left over zero dollars so I'm gonna be solving for how many weeks it takes to spend all of it. So I'm gonna solve for my x by subtracting 360 to the other side. And then I will have negative 360 is equal to negative 18 times how many weeks? So I'm gonna use my calculator and divide. Negative 360 divided by negative 18 is a total of 20 weeks. So she can spend money for 20 weeks and then after that, her money will be gone. So divide by negative 18, we got 20 weeks. <laughs>